Good afternoon. We're here from the uh, Babcock Studio Garage. My name is Nick Dixon and my associate, Ken Tagger. We're with Penn Grade One High Performance Oil. And uh, as you can see behind us, we have this beautiful 1970 Cutlass. And I receive a lot of questions. One being, Ken, what viscosity would we choose for a car such as behind us? You know, you look at this particular era, and the one thing to keep in mind that the older the vehicle, the bearing clearances in these older engines were literally designed for the viscosity grades available in said era. Harken back to when the vehicle was first manufactured. The engines in the 50s, 60s, and 70s had much looser clearances than any of today's counterparts. Today's engines are built around fuel economy and certainly emissions are a consideration. With a 1970 era Oldsmobile Cutlass, you are without a catalytic converter and the engines certainly have much looser clearances. The bearing clearances were designed for the viscosity grades available in 1970. So in this particular uh, uh, application, I look at the summer viscosity if it's primarily driven in what we consider the best ambient temperature environment, literally between 60 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I would often recommend a straight weight mono grade or linear viscosity oil, that being an SA30. Because multi-grade engine oils existed uh, from the early 1950s on, uh, some of the very popular uh, multi-grade engine oils were the 10W30 grade, the 10W40, the 1540, or the 2050 respectively. And in this particular case with this Oldsmobile Cutlass, I would likely recommend a 20W50 considering how and when it's going to be used. In relationship to drain interval, that can be a, a bit more difficult to answer because it really is dependent on how and when you use the application. Now, because Pen Grade 1 is mostly conventional, mineral-based, I still ask end users to adhere to a 3,000-mile oil drain or once a year, whichever comes first. And really, for the latter, the once a year falls to those end users that uh, may use their applications maybe a few months out of the year. Uh, traditionally, your summer operating before it gets put away where it's going to sit in a garage for several weeks to months in the, at a time. And what I like to say, if, if you do fall under that once a year scenario, get into the habit of changing the oil and filter prior to that anticipated lengthy storage period. Don't wait until after the storage period. In other words, don't drive it all spring and summer. Put the uh, vehicle away and then in the spring decide, oh, I better change my oil. Now again, the reason for changing the oil and filter prior to that anticipated storage uh, 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 period is simply so that you don't leave used oil sitting in the crankcase. When you do so, you leave behind all those nasty byproducts of internal combustion sitting in that engine. All the acids, the soot, the varnish, the moisture, all the components that over time as they build up would cause you to change the oil anyways. Running a conventional mineral-based oil, a drain interval, at a much more frequent, carefully selected interval uh, is really ideal for the overall longevity and better maintenance of these great cars. Couldn't say more, and again, if you're trying to locate your Pen Grade One product, just feel free to go to our PenGrade1.com website. You can type in your local zip code and your Pen Grade One dealer will show up. And by the way, as Ken said, if you're unsure of what type of oil and viscosity needs to go in your classic hot rod custom car, feel free to contact our Pen Grade One 800 number where our technical services department will be more than glad to provide you the proper viscosity and any other additional information that you would need.